Hi, I'm glad you could join me for day two of 30 Days to Natural Diabetes and High Blood Pressure Control. Glad you're on the journey. 30 days, simple things that we can do that can make a difference in blood sugar and blood pressure. So let me start with a story today, because as I was thinking about this, this is really a, a story that drives this point home. Some years ago, I was working at a residential lifestyle center, and uh, if you know my work, I do a lot of work with Native Americans, and had a couple of Native American women that came to our center. They, they traveled many hundred miles to actually get their blood sugar under better control. One of the first things that we shared with them was the need to check their blood sugar frequently. Now, if you have diabetes, uh, that may not sound like the greatest message. I haven't had a patient yet that I can remember that said they liked pricking their finger. You know what I mean? So anyway, these ladies weren't particularly excited about it, but they started checking their blood sugar before each meal and then two hours after. They made great progress during the time they were with us, but I heard back from one of their relatives. They said they got off their blood sugar medications, their blood sugar was under control, they never had to go back on those diabetes drugs. And one of the things that they attributed their success to was that frequent measurement so they could really see what's happening and adjust their lifestyle. So today's message is to measure, measure, measure. I want you to measure something over the next 30 days. So you get to pick out what you're going to measure. And I've got a helpful chart with uh, some things that you might want to measure. You don't have to measure something every day like those ladies did, but if you've got diabetes, the most powerful thing to do is to check your blood sugar before and then two hours after each meal and start connecting the dots. If you've got high blood pressure, the best thing you can do is check your blood pressure a minimum of once a day. I recommend three times a day. That's right. If, if you've uh, read our book, 30 Days to Natural Blood Pressure Control, just grabbing a copy here, um, that's what we tell people to do. And the reason why is um, if you're not doing that and keeping tabs on your blood pressure and letting your doctor know, it's very likely that your blood pressure will get too low with the powerful principles that we'll be talking about over the next 30 days or what we've got left, 28 days. So measure, measure, measure. Blood sugar, blood pressure. Now I know some of you are probably along for the ride. Maybe your husband, your wife, close friend, significant other, whatever is, is on this journey with you and you're doing it too. You say, what do I measure? If you go to our resources, go under the the, the links that we've got associated with this uh, this YouTube video. And what you're going to find is we've got some helpful tables. We've got a table of different things that you could measure once a week or at least at the beginning and the ending of the program. Some blood tests, maybe your weight. Uh, by the way, with weight, we don't recommend you weigh every day, but once a week. You can chart those things. And um, it's great to have some of that information because you'll see if you're looking for one of those $50 gift cards, you've got to give us some feedback and the more things you monitor during the 30 days the more likely you are to win a fifty dollar gift card have you, have you checked that out already look look in the links we've um, we've got that uh, the contest information you'll see the more things you track over the next 30 days the more chances you have to win one of those uh, gift cards so that's the challenge for today is pick something that you're going to measure May, measure your weight once a week you're going to measure your blood sugar frequently, several times throughout the day, or your blood pressure, or you're going to get your blood cholesterol checked uh, as you're getting things started and repeat it at the end of the 30 days. Because I believe you're going to see some real powerful changes. The reason I say that is that's what I see in my patients. When they make big lifestyle changes like we're talking about, when they're bold with their decisions, remember day one, and they measure stuff, huge results. Now, I know first two days may sound kind of underwhelming. You say, what kind of program is this? You're saying, be bold, measure stuff. You haven't really told us anything to do. We're getting there tomorrow. Okay, you game? I'm Dr. DeRose. Come back. We'll tell you more things you can do, practical things, starting tomorrow, some real challenges. Don't miss it.